Welcome to Daily Devotions for uh, Tuesday, September 21st, 2021. Uh, I have been away uh, on vacation for the last three weeks. Well, one week was staycation and doing chores, catching up around the house, and then two weeks traveling uh, to spend time after a year and a half uh, able to go up to the Northwest and visit our son in Portland uh, and our daughter up in Seattle and a lot of uh, nephews and nieces. So um, it was it was a wonderful experience. But I was thinking about that is that um, my connection with All Saints uh, was being on the other side of these videos. Uh, and uh, um, it was it was very nice, I think, especially this last Sunday where uh, my son was still in Portland and my daughter was in Seattle. And we were in Seattle, and we all, 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 all four of us, got on at the same time and watched the worship service together. And that was, that was, um, very nice uh, to stay connected. So it, it made me think too about some of the people that have uh, moved on or, or or not really at our building. Uh, Corinne Wollenzine, I was thinking of you, Corinne, uh, who is now in Texas, and uh, Barbara Maurice, who is moving to Texas and who are still going to be connected us through this medium. Um, and so uh, I was thinking about you guys. And so uh, I thought, well, there's got to be a scripture about what it is like to be away from ones that you feel this connection with and yet um, to have that connection. Uh, and of course, this was written long before the internet, but um, I think you'll get the point. So listen up. This is from Genesis chapter 28, um, and I'll begin with verse 13. And this is God, by the way, uh, speaking to Jacob, who we also know as Israel. God says, I am the Lord God who was worshiped by Abraham and Isaac. I give to you and your family the land on which you are now sleeping. Your descendants will spread over the earth in all directions and will become as numerous as specks of dust. Your family will be a blessing to all people. Wherever you go, I will watch over you, and then later I will bring you back to this land. I won't leave you. I will do all that I have promised. It's that, that one verse especially that made me think about this. Wherever you go, I will watch over you. Wherever you go, I will watch over you. Um, that's an important thing to remember because um, we move around not just physically. Uh, sometimes... Our hearts takes us to different places, and sometimes our relationships take us to different places. Even if you never leave your home, um, you're going different places in your life. And this this language of God will never leave you. You know, we make these videos to help us connect with each other, partly, but the main thing is as a way to help each of us to remember to look for the presence of God today, wherever you are and wherever life has brought you. So now I'm back in Arizona in a few days. My wife will be joining me. She's going to be watching this with my daughter in Seattle. My son will be in Portland. Um, uh, Barbara Maurice will probably have found her way down to Texas will be all scattered all over this uh, western half of the United States. And some of you friends I know are watching from Japan, and some of you are watching um, out in uh, Illinois or Michigan, California. Wherever you go, God will be with you. Wherever you go today, God will be with you. That's a promise, and God keeps God's promises. Let's pray. Dear Lord, be with us right now where we are. Help us 
to see you in our life and not to live our life as if we were far away from you. Help us to see what it is that we can be and who we can be and how wonderful we can be alive when we act and live within your presence. In your holy name we pray. Amen. Take care, folks.